Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw on the thumbnail, this is going to be my attempt to restore this um, 1948 Ford here. And it was my dad's. He built it um, probably in 19, around 1985. He built it. I remember him sitting at the, the living room table and and building this car and um i've had it forever i've had it since then well i don't know how it got in such dis disrepair but anyway i'd shown this car on a junkyard video that i did before and i mentioned that i i'd love to restore it so that's my goal and i've never done this before i see people take cars apart and like uh, freeze them and things like that and to, for the parts to come loose but I finally got a I guess you'd say more than a donor kit this is a complete model kit here and this would have been the one that he built I remember this box art this is it so that's what this kit car is and I'm going to um, salvage as many parts on this as I can and what's missing will definitely come from that kit. Um, but it's it's in it's in pretty well. I mean, it's in pretty bad shape, but not really. I mean, look at that. The frame's still kind of glossy. But we will uh, get it torn apart. Um, and I know not like the chrome and things like that. The front bumper is there was a bumper that fell out while ago. Right here's a bumper. I guess that's the rear bumper yeah um the only thing with this model is the chrome is stickers so it, it came with chrome sticker um th this is one of the most amazing looking builds you'll ever see whoever built this for testers did an amazing job but if you'll notice that the the chrome is just it's just stickers this kit doesn't have the stickers with it so I was thinking about trying my hand at, I do have others with the stickers. I have them, they're right up there in the corner. And I have some with stickers, but the stickers tend to not stick that well after they get like 30 something years old. So I may just try to bare metal foil. Um, I don't know. I don't know until I get there, but what I've got to do though is, is get it, get it torn down and, um, see what parts I can use but I would like for the majority of it to be this car I mean it's, it's special to me it was my dad's it's the only one that I have um, that he built the house uh, burned down that we lived in and I don't know how this one escaped I just I it's a mystery to me I've got a box full of parts and old cars that were mine from when I was a kid and I don't know how they escaped because I don't remember taking them away. But anyway, I guess I did. And this just happened to be in there with it. But the seats are all broken. The you know, it's it's a it's it's totally totally broke down. Um the engine. I don't know why he didn't. This comes with a if you'll notice right there, it comes with a 427 single overhead cam, which is really ridiculous why they would even put that with this car. But my dad was a, was always a hot rodder, and I'm surprised he didn't put the um, the big 427 in it. He chose to put the flathead. Um, but he was also a flathead fanatic. He loved, he had some old cars with flathead engines and stuff like that and, and so i guess that was kind of something that was a uh, nostalgic to him so he decided to build it with the flathead and that's what i'll put back in it but i hope throughout this build that i'm able to salvage um even though i've got all the replacement parts right here i could just build a brand new model kit but it wouldn't be dad's so you guys will have to give me some advice i know that this will be already in progress before the video gets out in the comment section um comment section is, is you're able to uh comment to it i'll probably already have some progress done but 
do let me know what I need to uh, to do to to get this car. Um, give me some techniques. I tell you what, this is what I'll do. I'll I'll just make part one of this video just this introduction because I need some help. How do I? What do I do to break down the glue without destroying everything? Um, again, I want I would love to try to use what's here and then what's missing just use out of that box. Um, the chrome I'll reuse I'll, I'll use the new chrome. All that's that's a given. I'll use the chrome. Um, the windows are are probably really scratched up, so I've got brand new windows and things like that. But for the for the main for the majority of it, I want to again keep it. I want to keep it whole. Um, I've only got one wheel and rim, so it it will have new tires and wheels and all that. So guys, please uh, reach out in the comment section and let me know what I need to do to get this thing apart. I don't know what kind of paint. It was a spray bomb that he painted it with, but I'll need to, uh, I'll get her soaking in some um, purple power or something like that, brake fluid. But I won't do anything until I wait and read through the comment section. And I do appreciate this. Um, I might have, <laughs> just a real side, quick side note. So if you guys have been watching the build with, let me grab it, with me and Miss Heather, Here's her truck right here. I put it in the box for we haven't worked on it in a day or two. So I um I made the mistake. This isn't this video is not going to turn into the 55 Ford. I just want to mention something and you'll see what I'm getting at. So I masked off the windows. Well, we or actually I taped them, she cut them out, and then we sprayed them, or she sprayed them and it bled through. And yes, I know I sh I don't know what I was thinking. I used the spray bomb. What was I thinking? I've got an airbrush with black paint. I could, could we could have shot it with that. And anyway, I fixed it. So got that fixed. But what I'm, what I, what I brought this truck up, and how does it relate to this car? One of you guys said, and I'm, it, hey, no disrespect, take or I don't, I don't think it was a disrespectful comment, but he said, hey man, you might have a YouTube channel, but that was stupid to spray bomb that trim on such a nice paint job, and it was. So what am I trying to say? I have a YouTube channel and I have like almost, you know, 70, right at 7,700 subscribers. But, but to be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about this. Um, I know enough to get by and make some pretty decent looking kits, but, but you guys that have been around for a lot longer, some of you guys that, that restore things, um, Rick Zink comes to mind. His his channel is Skele Rick Zink Skeletal Remains Scale Auto Restoration. Now, Rick, I don't know how much restoration you do, but I want to know, guys, how do I how do I break this car down without tearing it up? And um, give me some recommendations, please, because this is really important to me. I don't want this to be um, something that I destroy it and uh, I have to go back and use all the parts out of this. this like, again, this is my dad's car. He's no longer with me, and I'd like to keep, you know, at least this uh, as a rep representation of, of you know, his model building. So, all right, so I'm going to end this video, but yeah, thanks for the, uh, all that you're going to comment on. I'm already thanking you for the comments, and nobody's commented yet, but anyway, you know what I mean. Thanks for the input that I'm looking forward to reading this, and then I'll get started on this. So I'm going to cut this video. Guys, thanks so much. Um, for your support in my channel, I know, I know I'm going to get great advice. I know that tons of you guys are going to reach out and say, do this, do this. I've done this. It works. And, and I'm, I'm going to take that advice. Um, just like I'm never going to spray bomb window trim again. Um, you know, advice taken, you know, anyway. All right, guys, I'm done with this video. Thanks for you guys that have subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, go join our Facebook group. I'll post this video on there. Um, go to Hobby Nut Models, guys, and get you some supplies. Um, support Mark over there at Hobby Nut Models. He supports me. And uh, don't forget to go to the Teespring store and check that out. But anyway, I'm going to end this, um, this, this video right here. 
And thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And hopefully, just hopefully, we'll be able to get this old, this old girl looking like this one. So thanks for your support, guys. See you later.